Today's video topic is sundowning. Sundowning is a phenomenon that occurs in individuals who suffer from dementia or Alzheimer's disease. It is characterized by an increased confusion and aggravation in the evening hours of the day, usually after the sun has gone down. It can be a disruptive and distressing condition for both the person with dementia and their caregivers. It is also known as late-day confusion or sundown syndrome. Symptoms of sundowning The signs and symptoms of sundowning can vary from person to person, but most of the time it includes increased confusion, agitation, pacing, restlessness, aggression, and disorientation. These symptoms may start as early as late afternoon and become more severe as the night progresses. Who experiences sundowning? Sundowning is more common in people with Alzheimer's, but it can also occur in people with other forms of dementia, as well as those without dementia. It is estimated that up to 40% of people with Alzheimer's or dementia experience sundowning. Also, it is not uncommon for people with Parkinson's disease or other neurological disorders to experience sundowning as well. Sundowning can also occur in younger individuals with developmental disabilities. Causes of sundowning The exact causes of sundowning is not known, but there are several theories that suggest it may be caused by a combination of psychological and environmental factors. Psychological factors may include fatigue, decreased activity levels, changes in circadian rhythms, and the body's response to light. Environmental factors may include disrupt sleep patterns and noise, lack of stimulation during the day, overstimulation in the evening, and changes in routine. How to manage sundowning Sundowning can be managed by a caregiver with a combination of lifestyle modifications, environmental adjustments, and medications. These may include providing a consistent routine, minimizing exposure to noise and bright lights, avoiding activities that require complex thinking in the evening, avoiding drinking alcohol, avoiding drinking caffeine in the evening, and providing distractions. Also, the patient should be exposed to sunlight in the morning as it helps maintaining the circadian rhythm. Medications for sundowning. There are a number of medications which can help manage sundowning. Some of the most commonly used medications include melatonin, antipsychotics, antidepressants, and cannabinoids. Melatonin is a hormone naturally produced in the body that helps regulate the body's sleep-wake cycle. It's available in tablet or liquid form and can help reduce the symptoms of sundowning. Antipsychotics such as risperidone, olanzapine, and quetiapine are also used to reduce agitation and hallucinations. Antidepressants such as fluoxetine can also be effective for managing sundowning symptoms. Finally, cannabinoids have been found to have anti-anxiety and sleep-promoting effects and can help reduce symptoms of sundowning. When choosing medications for sundowning, it's important to consult with a physician to determine the best treatment option. It's also important to monitor the person's response to the medication and adjust the dose as needed. In conclusion, sundowning can be a difficult condition to manage, but with the right treatment and care, it can be managed, and the person affected can lead a more comfortable and manageable life. It is important to remember that sundowning is not a part of the normal aging process and that it can be managed effectively with proper treatment. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.